Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Arjawi. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, Captain of the Royal Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, led the first stages of the French International Fontaine Blue Endurance Championship amid strong competition from world riders over a distance of 160 kilometers. This came in the presence and follow-up of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Public Sports Authority, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa led the first stages after a distinguished leadership with the horse Valencia, where His Highness was the focus of attention from all the participants in light of his skill and high technical capabilities in the European arena especially since His Highness entered the championship with multiple achievements after winning four consecutive titles, starting with the International Windsor Festival, the Italian Monte Sino International Championship and the Slovakia International Championship, as well as the World Endurance Championship for eight-year-old horses. The 160-kilometer race will be held in six stages and the competitions are still going so far. The championship witnessed a positive participation from the Royal Team's riders in the 160-kilometer race and other jockeys led the 127-kilometer and 100-kilometer races. And the competitions are still ongoing with the last stages of the races remaining. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on Thursday, in the presence of the First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, led the final training of the Royal Team Riders before their participation in the International Endurance Race of Fontainebleau in France for 160 kilometers with a wide participation of World Riders. The team is keen on achieving positive results, which affirms its status on the European arena following many achievements made by His Highness Sheikh Nasser and the team's riders recently. His Highness Sheikh Nasser watched the veterinarian checkup of the horses. His Highness was keen on meeting the riders and the team's technical staff, where he directed the riders to double their efforts and strive to achieve positive results. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the Royal Endurance Team is on the path of affirming its outstanding status in European races following a series of achievements recently, stating that the Bahraini participation in France will achieve further gains for the team. He added that the Royal Team embodied the high potential of Bahraini endurance during recent events and noting that the team aspires to make remarkable achievements in European events.
The Bahrain Defense Force Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the Bahrain Defense Force Military Athletics Team's winning eight medals in the World Military Cross Country Championship. Held recently in Portugal with the participation of 26 countries where Bahrain outperformed strong teams. The BDF commander in chief affirmed that the BDF military achievement is a result of the royal and continuous support to all athletes and of His Majesty's encouragement of champions to raise the kingdom's status in various international participations. Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed added that the achievement is a source of pride and reflects the high status of the BDF affiliates at the sports level as well as their high expertise and capabilities to win many medals at this world event. He hailed the efforts of the runners who secured this achievement and proven the development of the Bahraini military team in the athletic sport. He commended the efforts of the champions and the outstanding role of the technical and administrative teams, praising the support of the military union to various national teams to compete for top places and raise the kingdom's status. He also expressed hope that the achievement will be an incentive to make further positive results in the future. The results of the women's 8km race resulted in the victory of the Bahraini military team consisting of Winfred Yafi, Pontu Repetto and Viola Kilonza winning the first place and the gold medal at the team level. Sprinter Viola Kilonza won third place and the bronze medal. The men's team consisting of Alberto Rob, Dawit Adamsu and Berhano Pilau in the men's 10 km race won the first place and the gold medal at the team level, while Albert Robb won the second place and the silver medal, and Dawit Adamso won the third place and the bronze medal at the individual level. In the relay race, the national team consisting of sprinters Taigest Keshao and Winfred Yafi, and runners Berhano and Zuhir Awad won the first place and the gold medal. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, the Board of Trustees Chairman of the Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid College for Islamic Studies, met with the Board of Trustees Chairman of the Mohammed bin Zayed University for Humanities, Dr. Hamdan bin Muslim al mazrouri They discussed cooperation between the two educational establishments on the basis of deep, fertile relations between the two countries. The Minister of Education and Dr. Hamdan met with the Bahraini students studying at the university and briefed them about the university's development projects in the upcoming phase. The Minister of Education expressed his thanks for the care and attention given to the Bahraini students studying at the university as well as their equality with their fellow students from the United Arab Emirates. Dr. Anaimi praised the advanced level that the university has reached which is considered a scientific edifice and the academic research and training programs it offers which reflect the level of higher education in UAE. For his part Dr. Hamdan also praised the level of Bahraini students following their studies at the university and their outstanding efforts, wishing them continued success. The Minister of Social Development, Osama bin Ahmed Khalaf al Asfur, affirmed that the support, care, rehabilitation and protection of persons with determination is a national and societal responsibility. He highlighted the process requires concerted efforts between various governmental, private and civil institutions to continue to support rehabilitation and academic programs that contribute significantly to highlighting their capabilities as well as their 
latent talents. In light of the interest of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the unlimited support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. This came during the Minister's visit to the Head Rehabilitation Center for People with Special Needs affiliated to the Yuko House for Parents Care and the Hope Institute for Special Education Services for Children, where he was briefed on the services provided and listened to a detailed explanation of the services and programs of the two centers provided for people with disabilities, inspecting the educational and rehabilitation classes, pointing out in this context the importance of the centers working to put forward innovative ideas to develop their services in a manner that contributes to achieving the desired goals towards integrating groups of persons with disabilities into society. At the conclusion of both visits, al Asfur praised the efforts of the two centers and the services and programs they provide for care and rehabilitation for people with special disabilities with the aim of ensuring their rights in society and helping their families take care of them through education and community awareness programs. The official website for the upcoming elections, vote.ph, recorded more than 2 million visits to benefit from its services related to the electoral process. The executive management of the elections stated that the website provided an advanced platform through the use of the latest technologies in accordance with the advanced protection and security standards. The site includes the most important electoral information in the context of promoting legal culture and democratic practices, as well as enabling citizens to exercise their political rights. It provides access to, visitor, to voters' lists, submitting corrections or objection requests, as well as displaying lists of the candidates. The platform also reviews the electoral map of the constituencies, the locations of the polling and counting committees, and the scope and criteria of the electoral process in order to enhance the principles of integrity and transparency. The President of the French Republic, Emmanuel Macron, received at the Elysee Palace the credentials of Dr. Mohammed Abdel Ghaffar Abdullah as Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the French Republic. The Ambassador conveyed to the French President the greetings of His Majesty the King and those of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and their wishes for His Excellency's continued health. He also stressed the importance of enhancing relations between Bahrain and France. President Macron entrusted the Ambassador to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and to the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and his wishes for the Kingdom of Bahrain and its government, people, further development and prosperity. He also congratulated Ambassador Dr. Mohammed Abdel Ghaffar on his appointment. The Information and E-Government Authority participated in JITEX 2022, one of the leading international exhibitions in the field of information and communication technology held in Dubai. During its participation, the authority reviewed the government's efforts in the field of technology, e-government and digital transformation. On the sideline of the JITEX exhibition, the authority's delegation participated in a discussion session during which the delegation affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's keenness desire to provide the best government services by continuing digital transformation initiatives. The delegation also indicated that the Kingdom is one of the first countries in the region to adopt cloud computing explaining that the authority is currently studying and examining the various technologies and possible applications, including virtual reality and the Internet of Things, with the aim of the Kingdom's aspiration towards improving the efficiency of government work. <laughs> 